In this Blender video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make an object fade in or fade out in Blender. I have Blender version 2.8 open up here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the default cube. Let's press X, delete. I'm going to be adding in that monkey head for demonstrative purposes. So, Shift A, monkey. Okay. Uh, obviously, we can give him some more geometry, subdivision surface, uh, the V render value to 3. And really, the reason for doing that was just to make his material look a little bit better. Now, the default material is Principle BSDF. But in version 2.79, the, the default is going to be a diffuse. I like the Principle BSDF better because it actually enables me to be able to work with metallic and reference values. Now, on the metallic, I'm going to bring this value to 100%. Down to the sheen, we'll bring that value up a little bit. Now, let's change the build setting. And we'll just give this a environment texture. I'm going to be using a very basic um, HDR image. Now if we go to the render view, we're using Z and 8. We see the monkey head with the background. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the material of the monkey head. And the base color, I'm going to bring that down maybe just a little lower, give it a different color. To make the object fade out or fade in, what I'm going to do is make sure, of course, I'm on frame 1. Now I'm going to go over to the bottom of this panel where it says alpha. You'll notice we bring this value all the way down, we have an invisible monkey head. When you're on frame one, put your mouse over the alpha value and press I. It will turn yellow, and down here in the timeline, you will see a golden diamond. This means we have set a keyframe. Now bring your frame forward about 40, then bring the alpha value back to one. With your mouse over the alpha value, press I again. This adds in another keyframe. Now if you go to frame one and press play, you can watch it fade in. Now go to frame 80, bring that value down to 0, press I. You now have the object fading out. Well that concludes this video, thanks for watching.